guys welcome to another vlog i thought we could do an in-depth day of the life of me <laughs> obviously and i'm working from home today so i thought i could answer some of my most commonly asked questions about my little job that i do from home because i always get so many dms about what i do so we can get into that later i've just done a gym workout honestly the main reason why i'm filming this video is because i've been feeling so unproductive the last few days so i thought if i film my life then i'm gonna have to <laughs> be productive to make it a good video which is what i need like i need to get back into my really good productive routine because otherwise i feel like poop but i have just finished my gym workout it was a struggle i found it really hard to go to sleep last night so i was so tired this morning but my alarm went off at 10 past five <laughs> And I dragged myself out of bed and I really thought it was gonna be light by the time I came out of the gym or at least like you know a, oh god a bump. <laughs> at least like a decent amount of light I can see it start to lighten up in the distance but um yeah it's pretty depressing in January like we need summer now I'm in the mood for sun just gotten home and I have about half an hour before I start work so Aiden just boiled the kettle for me before I obviously got home and he could take the car to work so kettle's already boiled being by the window is making me look very pale and very blue although I did completely forget to fake tan my face this morning when I was in the bathroom I was like your face looks pale I'm just gonna have my coffee probably do a little bit of scrolling the one thing I like about getting up early and going to the gym is because I get up and literally leave the house straight away I don't have time to scroll on my phone and go through like social media which is actually a really nice way to start the day not you know in your phone but I also I'm gonna quickly have a body shower it's hair wash day tomorrow so I get to have a bit more of a chilled morning not as fast paced but I also want to do some social media -y stuff in my lunch break so I need to also get ready for the day, so maybe I do need to be in a little bit of a rush. I have a spare five minutes before I start work to quickly put on some makeup. And when I say quickly, I mean I've got to be speedy. But I've said my good mornings on Skype. I just always prefer to log on five minutes early, say good morning to everyone, and kind of have a recap on the things that I've missed since I haven't been working. And there's quite a lot of work for me to be getting on with this morning. So this is gonna be a very quick makeup job. So I think the main question that I get asked is how did I get my job? And how can people find a similar job? Because my job is very, very flexible. So I was actually really lucky because I work for the same company that my mum works for. And when I was looking for a normal job, there was an opening. So I was really lucky in the sense it kind of just fell in my lap and I feel like by now you guys know how grateful I am that I managed to get this job because it really came at a time in my life where I really didn't want to get a job but I was literally so stressed all the time about paying bills and being able to save to do exciting things and it was actually my manager Siobhan who does all like my socials for me it was actually her idea that I went and got a job and at the time I really didn't want to I really felt like I was failing at this whole like social media thing but ultimately I'm so happy that I did I've been in the job now for like I want to say three years it really just gave me a lot of peace <laughs> i actually work a 25 hour week and i do it over three days which just works out so well with me it gives me time to obviously go out and audition for dance jobs because as much as i love my job and i'm so grateful for it i can't say that <laughs> sending out emails really is a burning passion of mine so i just love it gives me the ability to still go out and audition and then the other question i get asked a lot is what do you actually do but i work for a recruitment agency and i basically mail out all of the roles that we have in so i basically have to review jobs and then go find the people on our database that would potentially be interested but I'm going to quickly whack on some eyebrows and mascara and get to work because I saw this morning that there's already 10 roles that I need to have a look at so I've got to get a move on
has just turned 12 30 and i'm getting a little bit hungry so i'm gonna says grab my lunch i actually meal prepped yesterday so i just have some leftover dinner and my mum has just gone on a call we can hear her so i'm literally gonna run downstairs grab the food run out of the kitchen but i will come back up and show you guys what i'm having and i'm just going to still do some work whilst i'm eating my lunch and then spend my actual like little break only like 20 minutes or so doing my hair it looks like it needs a lot of help right now though but yeah let me just run downstairs real quick and i will be back just as i got downstairs my mum was actually finished with her call but i'd already committed to leaving you guys up here and bringing my food up oh my gosh i literally just have pure mayo on the lid i don't normally meal prep especially when you're working from home i feel like unless you want to make your life a lot easier you can normally just make it i feel like my room is now gonna stink of tuna toast maybe i should have just eaten this downstairs but i've got a tuna pasta salad here and i would normally actually eat my lunch downstairs with my mum you know get a little bit of socialization in as i said earlier i don't talk to anyone during the day like obviously i exchange skype messages but that's as far as my social so socializing <laughs> that's as far as my socializing goes and i'm always so excited when adrian gets home from work because obviously i haven't really socialized much and he's actually been away for the last couple of nights so like in the evenings i've finished work and i'm like now what but he's gonna be home this evening and i'm so excited we're gonna make a nice dinner and we're gonna spend some time together and i'm gonna shove a camera in his face because i'm vlogging today okay i'm just about to start filming i just put on a different jumper does not match it whatsoever but can't be wearing the same outfit for two videos in a row. So I just remove a little bit of the clutter just to make the bathroom look a little bit nicer. And then I've just brought in everything. It's all just resting over here. And that's everything that I'll need for the hairstyles. I just find it so much easier to film in the bathroom. I did used to film them in my bedroom. But it just felt like such a faff having to move things. Like at least when I do it in here, all I need to do is actually bring in the products and I'm good to go. I also use my tripod. This is just from Amazon, I want to say. And I just pop that up there. I also have my TikTok shop light that I'm going to use. The sun is coming in a bit of a strange... You can see my shadow back there. Wait. Oh, it's on the glass. <laughs> I'm so confused. I couldn't see my shadow like actually on the tile. But it's because it's on the glass. That will be fine. Hopefully no one minds too much, but I'll put on this light and I also film with my back camera. It is slightly awkward setting it up because I have to like, I have to like go around <laughs> the back of the camera. But I normally do like a test shot and then I should be okay. Do a quick test shot. so happy that i found a bit of a niche on instagram because i'm not gonna lie to you guys i absolutely hated doing clothes videos like i found it so awkward being like and also cost a lot of money to do clothes videos it's a lot of clothes that i don't actually need and i'm just not really that fashionable but i love this hairstyle it's like a a plait but with a plait inside of it i'm feeling it so i'm gonna keep it in for the rest of the day and also using that wax stick makes your hair so greasy and it's not hair wash day till tomorrow so push through you're <laughs> part-timer that's fine why are you wearing that hat oh it was just at the bar yeah it's only 20 to 3 right yeah you're already home hmm? i'm not even done working i know do you want me to go back <laughs> work is done for the day Aiden and I are currently just making dinner. He's on meatball duty over at the pan and I'm just greasing, not greasing, I'm getting some baking paper, grease proof paper and putting it on a tray for oven meatball duties. And we're basically just gonna have a bit of like a Mediterranean dinner, a bit of rice, cucumber, meatballs, I don't really know. I saw it on. I'm sure they're okay. But I saw a recipe on Pinterest, so 
<laughs> I'm just going by a picture basically. Does it taste of much? But it tastes fine. My friend messaged me. He's your friend. Jasper. Saying you're ready for COD. He said I'm going on. I was literally about to say, what the camera's gonna die. Let me change out the battery. We are back. I was literally about to say, what I think is gonna happen is we're gonna come upstairs, Aiden's gonna eat his dessert, we're gonna watch a little bit of YouTube, and then Aiden's gonna go on COD, and I'm gonna read my book. Is that what you want to happen? I don't think we're even gonna eat dessert and watch YouTube, but I think you're going straight to COD. We can watch. I don't have to go on. It's okay, you can go on. I'm currently reading Never Lie by Frida McFadden. I'm on a little bit of a thriller book, what would you call it, like, not a hype? No, not connoisseur. Like, I constantly streak. read streak. streak. Do you say streak? Yeah, streak. On a thriller streak. This one's scaring me, I'm not gonna lie though. Like, it's really freaking me out. And I just like keep on thinking, like, why do you keep doing that? Like, the characters are, you know when you watch a scary film and the characters make like the most stupidest decisions I'm feeling right now with my book. I started to read a romance and then I was like, nah, I need another thriller. Thriller's keeping me on the edge of my seat, so reading this. What's going on? No, don't do a lot for skincare just a bit of moisturizer i'm gonna fake tan my face tonight so i don't look like an actual zombie going to the gym in the morning luckily tomorrow is fake tan day though a little bit of lip balm and i also got sent this oh my hands are a bit slippery just moisturized but i got sent this se cuticle oil and it's just so convenient it's like a little like rollerball so every morning and every evening i have just been putting it on to keep my nails nice and healthy but it is 9 45 so honestly gonna head to bed soon because i'm gonna be up at five tomorrow a little bit earlier because there was so much traffic getting home today and i obviously don't want to make aiden late for work so i'm gonna go ahead and end this video here i hope you all enjoyed coming along on a realistic day with me spending the day with me and yeah, I will see you all very soon in a new video. Bye!